Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's your TAP Daily for August 23rd, 2012. Okay, so let's start off with some really quick application news. Uh, the Facebook iOS app has been updated to version 5.0. It has a faster load time, better scrolling in the news feed, pictures load instantly, and there's some more shortcut buttons and stuff, and it, it definitely is smoother. It's by no means perfect, but the old version was so far from perfect that you know, this new version cannot be perfect and still be such a huge improvement. So if you haven't already updated your Facebook application, I would definitely go do that. All right, and moving on, according to DigiTimes, when the next generation iPhone finally launches, it will be in short supply. Now this adds on to previous rumors that claim that the redesigned connector at the bottom of the phone has been causing some shortages with production and supplies and that kind of thing. I really, really hope this isn't true because hype for the next generation iPhone has never been higher and uh, low stock and super high hype do not mix. All right, next, in preparation for what is inevitably a next generation iPhone launch, uh, Walmart has lowered the price of the iPhone by $40 to just $148. Now this is for the 16 gigabyte version and it is only in select stores on AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. So if you don't care about having the newest generation iPhone and you just wanna get a cheap, awesome phone with access to the iOS ecosystem, I would definitely check this deal out. Okay, and finally, to fulfill your daily requirement of leaked iPhone 5 components, Smartphone Medic has just posted a video comparing a bunch of the pieces from the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 4S. Then we have the front panel showing the display size and we also have a bunch of internal stuff like the headphone jack, the proximity sensor, the change dock connector, and all that fun stuff. And it's definitely very interesting. And these pieces from the iPhone 5, I have to say, they look really legit, you know? Uh, they look very carefully designed, very precise, and I really would not be surprised if these do turn out to be the actual pieces from the phone that Apple is planning to launch, hopefully, in September. Okay, well that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Before we're going to leave with a question of the day, and that is, what is your iPhone 5 purchase tactic? You know, if it is in short supply on launch day, there's going to be huge lines, the servers are going to be crashing left and right for pre-orders. Uh, so what are you going to do? Are you going to try to just brave the lines or get through the pre-orders? Or are you going to wait a couple weeks or a month or so and walk into the store and get one like it's nothing? Personally, I would love to be able to wait, but a combination of this job and my complete lack of any sort of patience or anything like that, uh, I'll be pre-ordering. So I just want to know how you guys feel about this and what your tactic is. So you can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video in the description down below, so definitely give those a look. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, head over to todaysiphone.com.